So you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, and it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. We are asked to add the two square root expressions. The first step is to simplify the two square roots. To help us simplify the first square root, let's determine the prime factorization of 80. 80 is equal to 8 times 10. 8 is equal to 4 times 2. 2 is prime. And 4 is equal to 2 times 2. And 10 is equal to 2 times 5. So 80 is equal to 4 factors of 2 and a factor of 5. Let's write this first expression as 8 times the square root of four factors of two, a factor of five, and x cubed is equal to x times x times x. Because we have a square root, remember the perfect square factors of the radicand will simplify. So two times two or two squared is a perfect square factor here and here, and so is x times x or x squared. And then we have plus four x times the square root of 125x, let's find the prime factorization of 125. 125 is equal to 25 times 5, 5 is prime, and 25 is equal to 5 times 5. The prime factorization of 125 is equal to 3 factors of 5. Let's write 125x as 5 times 5 times 5 times x, and 5 times 5 or 5 squared is a perfect square factor of 125x. And now let's go ahead and simplify the square roots. We have eight times the square root of two times two or two squared. We'll simplify to one factor of two here and here. So we have eight times two times two times the square root of x times x or x squared. We'll simplify to one factor of x. And then we're left with times the square root of five x. Because we're told here to assume that x is greater than or equal to zero or non-negative, we will not include an absolute value here for this x to the first power outside the square root. Remember, when simplifying square roots or radicals with an even index, or radicals with an even index that contain variables, if the simplified part contains a variable with an odd exponent, we need to include the variables in an absolute value unless we're told to assume the variables are non-negative. And then we have plus 4x times the square root of five times five or five squared simplifies to one factor of five, and then we still have the square root of five x. Now let's multiply the factors outside the square roots. Here we have eight times two times two times x, which is 32 x, square root five x. Then we have plus four x times five is 20 x, square root five x. Now that we've simplified the square roots, notice how we do have like radicals, because both terms contain the same square root factor. Which means we can add the expressions, because 32x plus 20x is equal to 52x. The simplified expression is 52x square root 5x. I hope you found this helpful.